Becky and we're the Sorry Girls and today we have another palette DIY for you. They have been a favorite on our channel uh, in the past and we're bringing them back. Someone requested palette furniture and we love doing your requests. We've been doing a lot of like requested videos lately and it gets me so excited. Yeah, keep them coming guys. Okay, so here is how you can make your very own outdoor palette swing. To make this hanging palette swing, we started with two shipping palettes. The first we cut in half to use as our back support. Use an electric sander or some sandpaper to give your palettes a good sand. Try to get off as much dirt and wood grime as possible. Once they're both completely sanded front and back, wipe them off well to get rid of any and all dust. Before we get to painting, we're laying down a drop cloth. To paint our palettes, we are just using regular exterior paint in this amazing navy color. Using the combo of a roller for large areas and a paintbrush for tighter spots, we painted the entire palette. Palettes have so many sides to them, so this took us a little while to do, but we're so, so happy with how it turned out. Make sure once it's dry, you do a second coat. This keeps your wood protected and makes the color look much more vivid. Once both pieces were painted and dry, line up your half piece behind the full palette. Using some wood screws and a drill, drill into the vertical boards of the short piece and into the long back piece of the large palette. This will hold it together pretty well, but we're also adding some rope for extra support. For our rope, we're using this nylon rope, and make sure you pick a rope that's durable and can hold up to a large amount of weight. We don't want to put our rope solely through the thin boards, so for extra support, we're having it go through the top and out the side. Use a drill bit the size of your rope and drill two holes. For the other side of the rope, we're also going in through the top and out the middle stronger board. After your holes are drilled, lace your rope in through the side hole and then out through the top hole. Tie the rope tightly in a knot. For the other end, measure out how much you'll need. To cut the rope, tie a piece of tape tightly where you want to make the cut. Cut the rope in half through the tape and use a lighter to slightly burn the ends of the rope together. Now you're good to finish the lacing of the rope through the other holes and tie it tightly in a knot. Our backrest is now super secure. Make sure to repeat this on the other side as well. For our main ropes we'll be using to hang the swing, we're adding two holes similar to the ones we just made. Start by drilling a hole down through the top board and then out through the back board. Thread your rope through the top and out the back. Add a knot and repeat on the other side. We drilled four sets of these holes on each corner, but we've only knotted in the backs of each side. We'll tie up the front holes when we get to our tree. For our swing cushion, we're combining these two old patio cushions we had. We created one large slip cover out of this outdoor flamingo pattern fabric and we put the two cushions inside to create one large pallet size mattress. To actually hang our pallet swing, we set it on something at the height we wanted it to sit so that we didn't have to hold it up the entire time we were hanging it. Use a ladder to swing your first rope over the branch of a very sturdy tree. Loop the rope around the branch once. For the knot, wrap your loose rope around the tight rope twice and then bring the end through the top and out the bottom. This will stop your rope from sliding along the branch. Repeat these steps for both sides of your swing. Once on the ground, lace the ends of your rope in through the holes the same way we did the first two earlier. Make sure to pull it super tight and tie it in a knot. And of course, repeat this on both sides. Now it's time to bring in the Chill Spot accessories and bring on summer. <laughs> for summer. Hopefully <laughs> some of you have like a backyard where you can put hang this up. This just like has me wanting to take all the naps. Like it's so comfortable and just like goals. Like summer napping goals. And how good is your job when you get to make this and then just like hang out on it. it. It's so good. So thank you to you guys who requested that because it was a pleasure to make. <laughs> if you have any more summer DIYs you want to see us do, please let us know below because we have been doing a lot of requests lately which is like so good. And on Instagram mm -hmm. and Twitter because those are a really good, good place for us to see them. All right, that's it for today's video. Until then, we'll see you on Snapchat, cause Instagram, Instagram, Twits, um, <laughs> and have a great day, guys. Hope you're enjoying your summer. If you like it, like it, and if you love it, sub it. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.